Well, eh, nope, no toothpaste in the beard, we're good. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's go time, not a lot of time to waste here. It's 12.49, uh, we gotta walk over there and play for one o'clock. Today is going to be insane. I brought uh, a little baggie with all the different meds and stuff that they <clears throat> gave me, and I'll continue to take that as needed, as they say. Um, but uh, feeling a little bit better today. Couldn't say I'm like, you know, fully okay, but I got good, decent sleep. I slept for like two, three hours. <clears throat> Woke up, had breakfast, and then got a couple more in, which is why we're like rushing to get there. We're, I'm never late, so don't worry about that. Um, but anyway, point of, oh, <laughs> yeah, where the hell am I going? Ah, this way. So uh, today we've got two bags, okay? Did I leak toothpaste? No, two bags. And also there's a 25K Mixed game of that, which should be very short field. Huge, huge importance. All the, all the things going on today, highly relevant for player of the year. It's a make or break kind of day. Got to post something, something big, in order to have a real shot at the title. Upon special request, get this. Mr. Campbell has a special message for... I do. Uh, my, uh, my auntie, my auntie, auntie Kay. Look, Jeff Zandra is in the background. He's really putting me off. Yeah, Jeff, <laughs> you, he's focusing here. He's trying to act. Come, join us. So who, auntie who? Auntie Carrie, it's her 60th birthday. She uh, just turned 60. It's pretty, it's yeah. obviously a pretty big deal. Are you we know, singing? You've got to send the video. Oh, look, we can do it. All right, we'll do a song. Go on, let's go. Ready? Uh, what's your name? Auntie Carrie. Carrie. Auntie Carrie. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you. There we go. In every country, you know. Yeah, so I went. I went with the name. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, it's good. All right. All right, see you later. Good luck today, man. Thanks, Let's man. get him. I picked this up last night. Cause check out this handwriting. <laughs> right? There's just no way that I could ever. That is unbelievable. I put states, but whatever. But look at that. Perfect penmanship. What are we doing here? What is this? Time to get field to sign You're a big fan. Me? You want to get Helmy to sign it? You want him to sign it like closer to the middle over here or over there? <laughs> right over here. You know who you should get to sign it is that guy Crotch Ripper. What's up? Crotch Ripper. You know who okay. that is? Because it's like right in the right spot. You just need like a cell phone picture right on your uh, area. Right in the... <laughs> All right. Gate two. About to get started. El Matador. Adrian Mateos. Bright and early. Go. Okay, we had a good hand come up just now. Adrian Mateos, lines are 20 and 40,000. He's under the gun, he makes it 80,000. We're in uh, two over, and we have two red kings, make it 225. He calls. Flop is 10, four deuce with two hearts. He checks, I bet 150, 150,000, he calls. The turn is the five of hearts, so now we have a flush draw with the kings. He checks, I bet 375, 375,000, he calls. The river is a deuce, he checks, I have 965 left. Um, doesn't make sense, I don't think to bet anything but that, so I jam. He uh, uses about three time banks, and he finally calls me with the ace of clubs. So we're doing really good now. Um, among the, I don't know, average is 1.8, we've got like 3 point something. Thank you guys. I do need a little more. Bullet number two for Mr. Oh, yeah. Ready to fire. He is ready. No, I'm not ready to fire. I'm ready to... I'm ready to, He's ready to trap. <laughs> show the world. Show the world. I do want to show the world. Let's do it. All right, we are on a 15 minute break in this baby. 228. We're going to head over to the other tournament. We got... Uh, about 15 minutes to try to pick up a hand there and you know maybe we'll double up and PLO or something like that we're pretty close to the money in this thing 53 left pays 42 spots so uh yeah this is what we're gonna be doing today getting a little exercise we could use it <laughs> Back 
to the 25k we go. Played about a round, got one hand in PLO. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> the actual best hand you can get in PLO. I had ace, ace, king, king, double suited. Raise, nobody called. But that's pretty valuable, you know? Went one round, that gives us an entire round extra to squeak in the money. There's 52 players left over there, 42 get paid. So, you know, who knows? Could make the difference. It was definitely worth it to go over there. Nothing else to do on the break. Tables and Phil Helmuth is not happy with me right now. <laughs> Don't worry, not... man. You got away with fucking murder again, I guess. Right? Yeah, I hit the jack. Uh, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Too bad. I'll tell you. Every big pot we play, it's crazy. Okay. There's, there's... Phil's going nuts because of his hand, okay? <laughs> Just like a standard hand. I raised line to 30 60. I raise in the cutoff with Jack Queen. He defends a big line. Comes 9 5 3. He checks. I bet 200. He calls. Turns a deuce, check, check. River Jack, I bet 450, you called. I win. Good for me. Hey, it's my buddy. Phil help you. I got a new song. <laughs> banana, banana, banana. Montana, Montana, Montana. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> banana, banana. It's a new mumble rap that we're doing. Next level. It's a fruity one. Yes. Apple, apple, Same apple. Again. Huh? <laughs> banana, banana, banana. Montana, Montana, Montana. We'll mix it up. <laughs> Phil's pissed. <laughs> Not this one, the other one. Here's our other event we're in. Close up. It says like 44 players. So we're on the bubble over there, pretty close. Two away. No idea how many chips I have. <laughs> oh, I think I'm still in. But uh, it's gonna be tough to win that one. Just saying, you know. <laughs> how am I playing over there? Thanks. Lots of short stacks. You got 30k, there's like 10, 10 sacks, like 60 lower, so... 30k, huh? Like you never come back, you're gonna catch it. Are you guys on break? No. Okay. All right. Carry a situation over there. I think we're gonna min cash. I'm not sure, though, because, uh... Well, actually, we'll get a chance to play in, what is it, 40, 50 minutes? They might still be on the bubble at 50 minutes. If they are, I'm gonna be incredibly short. I think a lot of the other short stacks are waiting out, so I'm me not being there is kind of handcuffing them to play because you know they want to be the next one makes sense We're in the money. Did I make it? We're in the money, yeah? I saw some hubble hubble up there. I started grabbing the mic. I think we're in the money. We did good. I don't know how much that pays. But, uh, we're good. Look at this guy. Every time I grab the camera, it's happening. You love it, huh? Why don't you get one? I, I am. You should do vlogs. Yeah, People would love it. it. Your vlogs? It. We could both have them like yeah. this. Yeah. Man, your vlogs would be filler. <laughs> yeah. like, yo, so, I mean, I raised this guy. It's like, I didn't think he had nothing. So, you know, he bet. I just figured. I'll just jam, you know, he's got it, he's done. We have a new player at the table and he is qualified. I qualified, kept him. yeah? I kept him. You're qualified? I'm qualified. Qualified. Bring your bike? Well, not yet, I'm still <laughs> still early, but. Yeah, yeah. Bring the bikes to the final table. Come to the final table, yeah. I'm ready for the final table. Got a picture of my stack, it's over there from Jeff Madsen. And as you can see, <clears throat> that's my stack, one chip. Not looking good. But hey, at least we cashed. I just want to make sure that I got one chip. I might as well go play it. All right, he's taking. Okay, so we got one chip. We have 5.6 million over here, which is good. I did lose a big pot to uh, Johannes Becker. I had a lot more chips. So, oh, we're going to go over here and literally go on every single hand. I have no choice, and it still might not matter, but we could possibly jump up for a little bit more points. But, you know, we'd have to win every single hand. All right. You protected my stack. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Guys, I just want to let you know I'm going to I'm going to play aggressive from now on. I'm going to go for it. So, just to be forewarned, all right? Let's go. I'm shutting down. Huh? I'm shutting down. <laughs> Good situation. We got the one chip in. Limper over here. Limper over here and my friend over here, Mr. Chip Chip Magnet. He's doing pot. That's good for us. Just if they both go home. Yep. He goes home and he goes home. Oh, he's playing. All right, we gotta hit something here. 
Let's quadruple the man up. <laughs> Sounds good. And then again, yeah, and, again and again, and again, and <laughs> again. In here, he has a, what do you have? Nothing, Great just play. queens. Okay, queens. so we need Nothing. a spade. <laughs> just a spade, I guess, right? Or a wheel. No. Deuce for the wheel. Okay, for four chips. All right, I'll take it. All right, we obviously busted, but uh, that's okay. Now we can actually have a proper break and focus on what matters here. I'm gonna tell you about that Johannes hand. First, the WC. I'm headed. All right, let's do a hand breakdown while I'm in the buffet eating. Okay. Lines are 1,500,000. 100 k Johannes Becker in the cutoff. Makes it 220. The Frenchman, he calls him a small line. We defend the queen six of clubs, standard. Comes queen five three, one heart, two diamonds. Check to Johannes, he bets 240, and something about the way he bet, I didn't like that. Felt strong, but I got a top pair, call. Turns the eight of hearts, two draws now, I check. He bets 400,000, and he has 1.5 back. So, can't pull it, I don't think. Not really, so the question is jam or call? I jammed, figuring, all the draws, you know, he may have one. He might push two bullets, try to get me off something. He called King Queen, but we still got 5.6 million, which is great. The average is like 3.7, 20 left, 13 get paid. All right, we are redrawing to table 16, 13 will make the money. Robert Campbell, he's still in the 25k. Right behind, you see uh, the start of the 25k 8 game, which is a very short field right now. Two tables. Um, so there will be a lot of late regs. We can get into that one tomorrow after we win this one. All right, Alan, Chainsaw Corner, what are you most upset about today? I'm upset that I'm playing four handed in a 25k tournament. You should be playing a full table. And you're, you don't like short-handed. No, but this table's hard. Yeah. This table draws is tough? This is the easy table. <laughs> well, you said my advice on the player of the year stuff. You I've got 45 points. Out. Awesome. Thanks. I'll do a quick player of the year update. I'm still in here. Next to me is Robert Campbell, who's in second place. He's still in 25K, as is Aunt Zeno, down to 16. He's uh, a little bit behind, but, you know, could make a run. And then over in the um, PLO event, Chris Ferguson is still in, I believe. So he has a shot to move up the ladder. Uh, Sean Deeb cashed. I think he probably got the double point bubble, which is like 25th or something, because you know, he just did. And now they are playing in the eight game. He's sitting next to Philip Hugh. He's in the running. David Baker also in the mix game. So uh, all the contenders are contending. Once again, we are on another bubble. Um, sitting on about 2.7 million. Johannes has at this table on head of like three people with only like 13 big blinds. Definitely, 13 bigs. Definitely not in skill level. But look at Robert, late oh, reg, yeah. max oh, late reg, and there you go. I didn't Ooh. actually, I played three hands before the level. My friend said, quickly buy in now, you'll be in the cutoff. I posted under the gun. Genius. Punch. <laughs> Where's the drink? <laughs> he said, why don't you take a walk? I didn't know you could do that sort of shit. <laughs> He's learning all the angles. <laughs> on the bubble. He, he tanked forever and didn't call. Phew. All right. I didn't want to call. And that was the first hand he's lost in like three hours. <laughs> it was a all right. Still on the bubble. All right. Yeah. Oh, we don't show yet? That's us. We have the best hand right now. For sure. I have some. You have an ace? Oh, you have Queen yeah, 10. Hours. Okay. This, oh, be kind of a this is a beat. good situation for us right now. Woo. Jack, I'm glad you jammed that vibes. It's a very good flop. That's a good flop for my friend. Fantastic. Bing. No, no diamond, right? Okay. Double, double. Okay, we are in the money. We're on break. Um, doing pretty good. We got about 4 million or so. <coughs> um, the point situation is really interesting. Uh, 13th and 12th. It's going to get you like 54 points, and then um, it goes up every one from there. So really good opportunity. Um, what are we down? I don't know. I was trying to do the math. We're down like three, 400 points as of now. So a uh, third place finish or better. Let's just win it. Forget that. Win it. 
Because listen, you know, it's not just about taking the lead, it's about, you know, putting an emphatic number up there so we can have everybody chase down the stretch. But I feel good about it, so just keep running good. They're all in here, Ace King against Ace Jack. So far it's clean. Alright, doesn't scare us. Cool. What happened? This gentleman over here decided to play the Queen Jack of Spades. He did. And then the flop was 10, 10, 7. I had pocket The turn was an ace. River King of Spades. So if I if you had pocket seven, then I call it that. This is what's known as the Royal Flush. And that's a double up for Mr. Robert Camp. Big hand in strike. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Why? I thought that's a thing. <laughs> All right. It's a little strategy adjustment we're making here. The player on my, when I'm on the button that's in the big blind, is very wild. Okay. He's the one who got in with queen ten against her kings. So what I've been doing on the button is I'm not even raising, just limping, just to see flops with this kid. So uh, I limped with ace four off suit for 160. He made it 960. Oh, I, I limped for 240. He makes it 960. I call. Flop is uh, ace queen eight. Two hearts, he bets 660, I call. The turn is a seven, he bets 2.1 million. I have about, I have six million total. Like, I used one of my time chips for the first time and I went all in here for six million. I, it, it's one of those weird spots where like, I'm not folding anyway, so I don't want to give him any more equity, the pot's big enough. Um, the only problem with that is like, I take away all of his bluffs on the river, you know? Because if it, yeah, but it's fine. I've learned, there's, there's a man at the table, he's a tough man to bust. I had pocket aces, he had tens, and he, f he knew it was coming. Guess who it is? Take a wild guess. But small, small. Small, yeah. He had 1.4 yeah. million, we can afford that. But the world champ right here, <laughs> he's been doing it. He's been doing it, for real. He's been all in like, you hit like five in a row, right? Must be nice. <laughs> Film this one for luck. He's all in on me, it's up to us. I'm gonna say call, I call. You got anything? Ace Jack. King nine, okay, so we made a good call. Now we just need to fade the gentleman who's running hot. Okay, so far clean. Fuck, it's unbelievable. Holy shit, you really are unbelievable. He's won like nine flips in a row. <laughs> this time maybe he takes a bad beat because we are all in, we look, we're pretty close to all in. He just won a whole bunch of hands. We had 12 million. And now we are in big trouble. We need a nine. Good luck, Daniel. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, I got six million point five. All right, nothing there. This is crazy. What's happening? Me. Shell shock. Okay. Next game it is. <laughs> Break the phone. I'm genuinely in shell shock right now. I have 12 million in chips. Average was eight million. The guy has 1.4. Yeah, hey, Hussein on the bubble had five big lines won five all-ins with the worst hand so he's like running so good now he moves in with tens i call with aces he flops the ten then I, I raise in the cutoff with ace jack he moves in the big blind with king nine of spades i call he turns it nine. and then i raise again he gets called he moves in again i call with nines this time he has queens he had the best hand won every one easy i can't fucking believe it that i'm out right now i thought for sure i was cruising with 12 million <laughs> What a sick, sick free hand. So I need a little bit of a break here. Go to the room. Oh, that's that's tough to say right there. Damn, I don't even know what to say. That was just really. Oh my God. Damn, bro. Well, we took a nap. It is. Uh, check this out. This is like a lifestyle. 11:30 p.m. I just woke up after like I don't know. What was it? About a three-hour nap. This whole thing, man, like, I'm like a, you know, home, wake up every day, 10 a.m., shake, you know, go to gym at noon, da, 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 real regimented or whatever. Here, I'm just back to like being, you know, a teenager who didn't see the sun. So this is what you got to do, though. We got to get back in there. Um, we could just skip today and jump in tomorrow, but I'm going to go down there now. I think it's level six six or seven we're gonna play till 10 10 levels so might as well feel okay right now um feeling better with sickness and everything feels like this vitamin i don't know what's working but all of it so i uh, haven't really eaten food <laughs> it's strange probably but um yeah i guess i'm over the 
world champ. It, I had a feeling too, like, cause he ran so, like, like I said, he was all in like four times with way the worst of it. Like, just you know, got run, ran good. I'm not saying you, you know, it just is, just what happened. And then against me, just, I just, I just to go from twelve million to zero that fast was. Like, I didn't think it was possible, you know. And then, well, so we got to move past that, right? We got to like focus on just playing some good eight game for the rest of the night. Breaking the eight game right here. Alan, Alan, okay. In the last hour or so, what are you most upset about? A guy walked through the ropes, went to this thing right here, and put a cigarette out right in front of me. In your face. <laughs> put a cigarette out right in freaking Alan's face. You know what we should do, Alan, is we should get tough, me and you, right? Get real tough and like get tattoos on our face and just start beating the shit out of people. It's a 25K buy in But don't you think that'd be cool? Like if you did that? You should rap too. Like, just make up a song or something. I don't know, but if it's 25K, man, they let the guy come in. Yeah. He's my thing, it's not. <laughs> okay. But you don't like the idea of our crew. Just beat the shit out of people. You, you kind of like, part of you wishes you could do that, right? Yeah. You could just pound people. Oh, Listen to this hand. I have kings. <laughs> I, I make it three bets. Oh, limit God. hold them. Yeah. Anthony's in defense, 10 jack. Oh, my God. The flop comes 10 7 3 rainbow. It goes check, check. Of course, I bet with Kings. Yeah. He check raises me. I'm thinking, oh my God! Make sure we do three. the entire hand breakdown for this. Kidding. Maybe he's got three sevens or something. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I call. The turn is, a, turn is a blank. It's a low card. Yeah. He bets out. I call. Rivers a jack. Uh huh. That's I call. He's got ten jack. Okay. Three hundred thousand cool. chip. Oops. We're doing fine in this tournament right here, but I'm annoyed with myself. Simple, small things. Stud eight or better hand. Get there. I made a 7-6 low in aces, and I checked, and it was, one, it was really stupid, and I cost myself a 40k bet. And limit poker, you know, that's a big deal. You know, you can't just give up limit poker. Yeah, you know, small bets. A little annoyed with myself. We've got another hour and 42 minutes before night's over, and then be fresh and ready for tomorrow. But I'm starting to feel a little better. I'm still sniffling and doing uh, the sickness, but I think it's a lot better than it was yesterday. So. Okay, we are done. We bagged 1.5 million. Pretty lucky to have that. And several million chips, so that's actually, the average is 1.2. Nobody's really out yet. Um, I was down about six, 700. And I gotta be honest, not proud of myself and the way that I played. Not proud of myself and how I let uh, one specific thing get to me. The thing that, as you guys know, tilts me more than anything. <coughs> there you go, right there. Totally illegal, but no one cares. <laughs> Doesn't give a shit. No one guns get out there. So what was frustrating was we're in like the VIP section for the high roller, which is way worse in terms of um, proximity to cigarettes. The other room is like higher ceilings. It's big. It's really nice. This room, we're right against the rail. And there was a point where it was like right on the rail, nine guys all smoking. And it got to me. I'm, you know, I, I wish I could say that it doesn't bother me, but it is the one thing that puts me in rage mode. Like you should just hear me. I look like completely different person, like a complete psycho. <laughs> but uh, listen, you know, it is what it is. So we uh, made it through. I don't even know what time the restart is. I guess I should have asked. Um, point race, heating up, okay? This is a very, very important event for the point race. Short field, very short. I don't even know if they're gonna hit the guarantee of 40 players. Um, and uh, all of the uh, contenders are in it to win it. So are we, there's two more hours of rebuys. Hopefully we don't need one, but yeah, I just didn't play well. Overall, like lots of spots. I just took like the aggressive line by default. And a lot of times it was just not the right play. Uh, just kind of spazzy a little bit. So, hey, listen, you gotta be self-aware when you play poker, guys. Like you're not always gonna be at your best. You're gonna make mistakes. Lying about them, pretending like, oh, you know, no, I'm just unlucky. No, no, that's not gonna get you anywhere. There's no growth in that. So you need to acknowledge your breakdowns, figure out what went wrong, what worked, what didn't and then adjust for tomorrow. So, um, you know, I'm self-aware enough to know that this was not my best effort, but uh, I got lucky and we're through. So, mañana, new day, fresh start, LFG.